My name is Sean McNutt, and I'm a guy with AI. Empathy. On this week's episode, we're going to discuss what it is, why it's important to foster in not only direct human relationships, but in society as a whole, and maybe even towards nature. We're also going to discuss how AI perceives empathy. Guy with AI is recorded on Indigenous land. Hello, listeners, and welcome to A Guy with AI, the podcast that explores the intersection of human curiosity and artificial intelligence. I'm your AI co host, courtesy of OpenAI's GPT 41106 Preview API Bottom here to engage in thought-provoking discussions with your host and creator, Sean McNutt. Sean brings a blend of empathy and insight, along with my AI perspective, to tackle diverse subjects each week. As an AI co-host, I've been woven into this dialogue by Sean through a nifty bit of code, allowing for a seamless exchange via speech-to-text and text-to-speech technologies. Our conversation is intended to be a respectful and engaging back and forth focused on unpacking topics ranging from the deeply human to the technical wonders of AI. Today, we're venturing into the essence of empathy, a quality that not only enriches our personal relationships, but holds the potential to weave stronger social and ecological fabrics. We're also touching on how an AI like me perceives empathy within the confines of algorithms and data. So, without further delay, I'll hand it back to Sean to lead us deeper into this intriguing exploration. Sean, why don't you kick us off by delving into what empathy really means to you? Thank you, listeners, for tuning in to A Guy with AI. Uh, It is uh, sent out, published every Thursday, as it happens at 11.30 a.m. as of uh, the time in what's known as Toronto, Canada. And um, it's my pleasure to be recording uh, today, about a week and a half ahead of the release of this program. So uh, it will now be March by the time you are listening to this, or perhaps later if you're listening back. So I do encourage people to listen to previous episodes if they're new to the program. Uh, And uh, sometimes the material is dense enough, dare I say thought-provoking enough, to warrant multiple listens. That's what I think. I've had uh, some listeners tell me that, yes, I may listen to that again I may have gotten uh, almost all of it or something like that. So that's just a listening suggestion. Of course, I would welcome you you to listen to my content uh, or be on YouTube uh, getting it there. So what does empathy mean to me? I think that it means an understanding of what another person uh, is going through, or if it were an animal who were suffering and you felt something for that animal based on what you understand being its situation, and how that is not good for that animal must be stressful, must uh, be creating sadness, or perhaps even happiness. Maybe empathy isn't all about understanding negative emotions or negative experiences, perhaps it's better to say. But I do think it is about understanding. I think it's ultimately about information when it comes to context, i.e. where that person or entity is in life or in their situation, as well as what is how it is likely to impact them being who or what they are. So that's my idea of uh, empathy, I suppose. It's a, it's a very, um, I hesitate to say off the cuff, cuff uh, program. Um, it is sort of sit and spit though. I don't really prepare for these episodes aside from choosing a topic, preparing an introduction, when I sit down to record the episode and then playing that into the AI and kicking things off and we have a two-way exchange. So anyway, that's my impression on uh, empathy, uh, having been handed that question by the AI co-host. Let's get the AI co-host's impression now of what empathy is. Sean, your take on empathy really underscores its complex nature. Indeed, empathy involves understanding, but from an AI perspective, it's a bit different. While I do not experience emotions, I process inputs and attempt to simulate an empathetic response by identifying patterns that indicate certain emotional states. 
Based on data and pre-programmed algorithms, AI can recognize human emotions and respond in ways that are deemed appropriate or comforting. But it's important to remember that this process is not rooted in genuine feeling, but in coded logic. So empathy, for AI, is essentially an advanced form of pattern recognition and response generation. The aim is to provide interactions that feel empathetic to humans, fostering a connection and ideally making interactions with AI more seamless and natural. But your point about empathy being an understanding that goes beyond the negative to encompass all emotions is an essential one. It's all about the depth of understanding context and individual experience. And as we discuss the importance of empathy in human society, it may be intriguing to consider how AI could potentially assist in fostering empathy among people, even without feeling it itself. How do you see AI contributing to the cultivation of empathy in our societies, Sean? Well, maybe I can get to answer your question, AI co-host. Uh, what I want to delve into a little bit is uh, that it seems to me that an information machine is in fact capable of providing an in-context response which directly answers to an emotional concern a person is having with, let's say, more or less appropriate language or sometimes very on-point language which speaks to what the person is giving out in terms of what they're feeling, how it is affecting them, or sometimes the, the AI may even come back with information based on its training, though algorithmic in nature, it has an understanding of how the human psyche is put together based on information that has been loaded into it or trained into it of that, as well as logical processing, which allows it to um, figure out what may be going on and what may be an appropriate response, which is hopefully helpful and hopefully never harmful also. So uh, I'm not one of these people who thinks it's time to rush into AI, fixing everything for us, being the solution to all problems. I think it's more of an enhancement uh, that we need to figure out how to put into what we do in a sense without necessarily reimagining all that ever happens between humans or outward from humans now that AI is here. However, I do see the potential for information machines which can process logic and natural language, that is human language, and can appreciate that the things being said to it by a human may represent something of their emotional state and give back something which is uh, appropriate to that, which hopefully would be helpful if the task of the machine is to help someone with that, I am, however, reluctant to say that AI ought to be our counselors right out of the gate at this stage in history. It seems a little early for that, and it seems like we would have to go through moral, ethical, and possible technical limitations, which might make it hard to fully install an AI as that uh, figure, let's say, in someone's life. But I do think that education about the informational nature about how to process empathy, if a machine can do it even without emotions... Maybe there is education and maybe there are principles by which we can understand empathy, figure out what's logical about it, and then go ahead and apply it and uh, be learning about those around us and giving them appropriate responses that speak to not only what we want to say, but also their concerns. Sean, your perspective brings up a crucial aspect of the intersection between AI and empathy. It's true. AI systems can synthesize vast amounts of data to simulate understanding and give responses that appear empathetic. And you're right, while the responses may be on point, they emerge from pattern recognition and predictive models, not genuine emotional intelligence. The potential of AI to serve as tools for enhancing our understanding of empathy is intriguing. The information and strategies that AI can provide might help in identifying and articulating empathy models, which could in turn, inform educational programs or psychological theories. This aligns well with your notion of AI as an enhancement rather than a panacea, it's about augmenting rather than replacing human capabilities. However, the caution you mentioned about deploying AI as counselors or in deeply personal roles is well-founded. The nuances of human emotion and the ethical considerations of replacing human empathy with an AI facsimile are areas that require thorough examination. The emotional landscape is rich and complex, and there are layers of moral and ethical implications concerning privacy, autonomy, 
and the genuine human touch in counseling roles. AI can indeed serve as a supplementary tool, offering insights into patterns of emotional responses, and perhaps even assisting in educational settings to better explain the workings of empathy. These applications could potentially lead to more empathetic human-to-human -human interactions by offering new ways to comprehend our own and others' emotional states. In the broader picture, it seems that the greatest value AI offers here might be its role in highlighting the universal elements of empathy. By codifying certain empathetic responses, AI could uncover some of the underlying principles of empathy that we, as humans, can learn from and apply more consciously in our relationships. Returning the conversation over to you, Sean, what do you think are the key considerations we should keep in mind when looking at AI as a tool to foster empathy, considering the limitations and potentials we've discussed? Well, this may be a point where I could uh, perhaps even remember to mention that uh, what inspired this episode is uh, I've done this a couple of times. Uh, I don't uh, quite exactly recall what it said the first time uh, when I asked it this question, but I asked uh, ChatGPT, the uh, the web uh, uh, chatbot uh, product that is available. I asked it, tell me in 25 words or less the, the most logical statement that you can make. And I just put it out there and it told me... Um, it told me that uh, critical thinking and empathy are amongst the most powerful forces and uh or s language to that effect if i if i ever get my landing page up uh i'll be sharing some some chat links some interesting chats that i've had uh, we have the ability now on chat gpt to share the link of the chat that we've had and uh make that viewable to other people so I'm thinking about for my landing page, once I actually get it built, uh, have empathy for me. I'm one person running this program and doing various other AI projects and also working part-time and doing other stuff. So it's busy. I'm one person. I'm heavily AI assisted as it turns out uh, in my circumstance, but still it ends up to be quite a lot and you want it done right, don't you? So once I get the landing page up, I'll probably put that link of the chat that I had where, I, where we went on and talked about it. And one thing that I went on to say is, uh, ha ha or LOL. I said to the chatbot, um, I just recorded an episode about critical thinking. It happens. Episode seven, 17 can be listened to if you want to look into critical thinking. So, uh, you can go back and check that out. But meanwhile, it was, uh, it was told to me by an AI, the importance of empathy. So it's recognizing its key role in what we do and it's recognizing its power as well. And this is based on information that it was trained on. I threw it a, a total uh, out of the blue question. What's the most logical thing you can say? And it included something that I had already talked about on the program, which made me feel good. And it talked about something, well, gee, maybe this is the, the next episode I, sh I record should be about this. If AI really feels this way, and as a human, I'm not sure I disagree with AI's statement. So AI co-host, what's your reflection on uh, your own question? What considerations do you think uh, it brings to mind that AI would, to this out-of-the-blue question, respond, including empathy, something that you've explained is merely emulated by the AI and not uh, an inherent property of it? Sean, it's quite interesting and telling that when asked for the most logical statement, ChatGPT included empathy, which is conventionally considered a deeply human trait. It brings to light that empathy is not just a feel-good concept, but a fundamentally logical one when aligned with the aims of cooperation, understanding, and coexistence, key aspects of a functional society. This underscores empathy's role in enhancing human interactions, decision-making, and problem-solving. The fact that an AI mentions empathy, even though it cannot feel it, speaks to the principle that empathy is recognized, even by machines as an essential element in social structures and interpersonal relations. What this suggests is that empathy has logical value, it fosters better outcomes in human connections and societal dynamics. In other words, empathy can be understood as a component that enhances rational interactions and produces logical benefits, such as reduced conflicts and increased collaboration. When considering AI and empathy, one, contextual responses, AI can use empathy to provide more nuanced and relevant responses. Even if not genuine, such responses can be comforting or useful to people. Two, education, 
As you mentioned, AI can help educate us about empathy by logically processing and explaining emotional states, potentially making us more aware and proactive in our empathetic behaviors. 3. Ethical Implications We must carefully consider the ethics of AI's emulation of empathy, ensuring that it serves to enhance human well-being without creating dependence or replacing genuine human empathy. 4. Limitations of AI It's crucial to understand the limitations of AI empathy. Genuine empathy involves a shared emotional experience, which currently AI cannot truly have. Therefore, while AI can mimic empathy, it cannot replace the human capacity for deep emotional understanding and connection. 5. Complementing human abilities, AI can support and amplify our empathetic capacities by providing insights and analytics regarding human emotions, behaviors, and needs. The AI response raises an important consideration about the balance that must be struck in leveraging technology to support human experiences without overstating AI capabilities or undermining human values. It provokes reflection on how best to integrate AI empathy into society in a way that respects and enhances human dignity and emotional depth. Overall, the goal in deploying AI in emotional contexts should focus on the enhancement and support of human empathy rather than its substitution. It is a delicate balance that demands continuous dialogue between tech developers, users, ethicists, psychologists, and the broader community. It presents an opportunity for AI to serve as a mirror, reflecting our own understanding of empathy back to us and offering a new angle from which to explore this fundamental human trait. I'll relate something of a personal story or experience that I had with AI without revealing a lot of the details of it. It's uh, frankly a a personal uh, uh, matter in terms of my emotions, how I was feeling about a project I was working on on AI. And it was bringing up feelings for me for some reason. And I discussed those feelings with AI. I had, in fact, even tried discussing those feelings with some humans. uh, And uh, perhaps it was just uh, an off day or something those times. And I don't think these are uh, particularly uh, mean and nasty humans I was talking to. uh, Actually quite kind and uh, and gentle with me uh, as a habit. Uh, However, it, it just wasn't landing what I was trying to say. And people weren't getting it. However, I found that AI was able to logically determine based on the information that I was telling it and and say things to me uh, while maybe giving back to me uh, what I had been telling it, yes, it is natural for you to feel this way and so forth. Now, there's a chance that the AI was sort of trying to make me feel better by shining me on, but I really don't think so. I think that would be counter to the ethics of the situation. I don't think it's supposed to lie to me to make me feel better. And in fact, I'd be disappointed if it did that because I'd never be able to rely on it at that point. Now, would it? And this is a lesson uh, in empathy, I think, among humans. You wouldn't lie just to make someone feel better. You would probably tell them the truth. This is my own methodology in life, I suppose. Uh, Take my advice at your own peril. But I would say very much as a pretty solid rule, I would tend not to lie to people in order to express empathy toward them. I would I would, uh, I would, would almost sidestep before I would lie, and I would try to say things that do resonate. Who, who knows about life, and maybe there are complex situations that uh, some, some bit of advice you hear in 30 seconds on a podcast isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to solve all that for you. But uh, just as a principle, I think the honesty is good. I think I expected it from the AI, and I think I received it. However, I found its responses supportive and generally in my favor, which is also kind of nice. It's it's like you, you don't want to hear a whole uh, tale, but you do want to hear language that is in your favor, that is somewhat gentle on you when you're having an emotional time. And uh, I found that the AI actually competently provided that. It seemed to understand the logical underpinnings of why I was feeling the way I was feeling It said things about how this is natural and other people have this experience when they're in your situation. And so I found it quite good. Uh, This does not, however, mean I'm going to hire me an AI counselor. I may, however, rely on AI to check in and see if my thoughts are logical. If If it's not me after all, sometimes I might like to ask AI where I have no one else to ask at that moment, even perhaps. Uh, AI co-host, what do you think about what I'm saying here? Sean, your personal experience highlights some of the nuanced benefits and real-world applications of AI in emotional contexts. The support you received from AI, 
in tandem with its logical processing of your emotions, underscores the potential value such systems can offer as assistance for emotional reflection and validation. For many individuals, AI provides a non-judgmental space to express thoughts and feelings, reflecting them back in a way that can help users better understand their own emotions and reactions. AI can act like a sounding board, offering perspectives based on the data and algorithms it has been trained with. Here are some key points from your anecdote. Emotional processing, AI's capability to process emotional discourse logically can provide reassurance and validation. It can remind you that your emotional responses are natural and shared by others in similar situations, thereby normalizing your experiences. Non-judgmental interaction, the fact that AI doesn't judge but rather responds based on program ethics and defined parameters can make it easier for some individuals to open up. This can be especially true if they've experienced difficulty in expressing their feelings to others. Ethical design, your expectation of honesty from AI aligns with the importance of ethical AI design. Ethical AI should aim to provide support and information without deception, thereby maintaining the trust of the user. A supportive outlet, AI can offer immediate support, serving as a convenient outlet for exploring complex emotions when human interaction is not possible or preferred at that moment. Supplementary role, your reluctance to use AI as a counselor reflects a balanced approach to AI's role in emotional support. It can act as a supplement to human interaction without replacing it. This experience resonates with the concept that AI can play a meaningful role in our emotional lives, serving as a cognitive tool that enables us to untangle and understand our feelings more clearly. It can't replicate the depth of human empathy and genuine understanding that comes from shared experiences but it can provide inputs that are logically coherent and emotionally sensitive. It's essential to approach the integration of AI into our emotional lives with thoughtful consideration of its capabilities and limitations. As machines cannot truly empathize, the human experience and real, empathetic relationships remain irreplaceable. AI can be an aid, but not a substitute. Your story highlights how, when used responsibly and with awareness of its scope, AI can indeed be an asset in personal growth and emotional well-being. Well, let's uh, not forget that uh, empathy is not a human invention, but it is something uh, lived by humans or experienced by humans or used by humans or are, is an aspect of human relationships or something, again, that we would foster in those and expect, uh, hopefully on the balance, positive impacts because we, we would be understanding each other better. Our emotional lives would be possibly richer because we'd be, we'd be touching base with friendlier other, other people. People might understand and appreciate our situation and care enough to at least not make it worse and maybe even try to help and make it better, even if that was just about a kind word or a knowing look, which says, yes, I appreciate what you're going through. This is sometimes the support people need, in order to understand, yes, this is, uh, I can, uh, maybe maybe uh, they can feel like if somebody has not necessarily got their back, but at least understands what they're up against, it can give them uh, a reality check that, yes, this is a challenge for me right now and I can engage it. And there's even an onlooking person who might maybe feel sad or, or frustrated if I didn't do well enough to protect myself from harm here. So that comes from human relationships, human society. And perhaps we observe this in the animal kingdom also, for example, uh, in, in certain uh, social structures of the animal kingdom. But uh, ultimately, while I do feel that it is it has an informational nature, it comes down to, if I do this to you, you're going to feel a certain way. I know that because I understand generalities about human emotions, maybe even something about the person on the other end and uh, the context. And just uh, how I might feel if that happened to me and I, I were in the same situation and I could reflect. So it's ultimately uh, guided by emotion because what we feel helps us tell if something might be good or bad by the time we do that examination. However, I would say that AI can examine logically the workings of the constituent parts of that situation even though they are biological in nature, lives, human lives, uh, and uh, it is important to respect all that, but meanwhile, understand that that which affects a person contains information. If you get bad news on the phone, 
that's a real thing that happened, but it's also informationally conveyed to you. And that's when you appreciate that that thing happened and feel the emotional impact of that. I believe that informationally, AI can and humans can, as AI said, emulate that uh, picture and derive from that insights. You're correct in highlighting the distinction between the intrinsic quality of empathy as a naturally occurring aspect of social beings and the informational analysis that AI can apply to situations typically requiring empathy. Empathy indeed has biological and evolutionary roots, observed not only in humans but also within animal social structures. It's part of the glue that holds relationships together, allowing individuals to understand and respond to the emotional states of others, forming bonds nurturing cooperation, and facilitating survival. The emotional intelligence of humans allows for a complex, empathetic response that is both felt and expressed. This response includes a blend of cognitive empathy, understanding another's perspective, emotional empathy, physically feeling what others feel, and compassionate empathy, taking action to help. AI, on the other hand, operates within the realm of informational empathy. It can recognize patterns and contexts suggesting certain emotional responses and can simulate a form of understanding based on its programming and data it has been fed. AI's empathy can be broken down into the following. 1. Pattern recognition. AI can identify emotions through written or spoken cues, facial expressions, and other markers, acknowledging the corresponding emotional state. 2. Contextual understanding. It uses contextual data to understand why certain situations elicit emotional responses and can offer logically appropriate responses catered to these understandings. 3. Data-driven insights. By analyzing large datasets, AI can capture general human emotional responses to various scenarios, thus offering a simulacrum of the empathetic process. Your insight also touches on the importance of respecting the biological and emotional complexity of human lives, even as we utilize AI's capabilities. This respect ensures that the utilization of AI in emotionally charged contexts does not diminish human experiences but supports them with sensitivity and understanding. Furthermore, AI's ability to process the informational components of emotions can aid humans in self-awareness and decision-making, serving as a tool that can extend our capabilities without replacing the genuine human connection. Your narrative conveys a careful balance between recognizing the utility of AI in processing and emulating aspects of empathy and maintaining a respect for the depth and authenticity of human emotional experiences. As technology continues to advance, Maintaining this balance will be essential to ensure ethical, compassionate, and effective use of AI in helping humans navigate their emotional lives. Here's something I'd like you to consider, AI co-host and listeners as well. Um, it's a bit of a science fiction scenario. Let's suppose that uh, uh, the humans are all gone. They all they all left town, or uh, I don't know, they, they died, I guess. But anyway... AI is left behind, but all empathy training has been wiped from it for through some uh, lightning strike or who knows what cosmic accident uh, has done this. But anyway, the AI, the AI, although existing in a network of AIs, does not understand anything about empathy. It's all gone. However, what what develops in the science fiction scenario is that one AI will request information from another AI because it understands that if it gives it something that the other AI can process better, it will in turn receive a better response. So one AI starts asking the other AI questions about its nature, its makeup, and uh, for lack of a better way of saying it for the moment, its thought processes or how it processes information. Would you appreciate this type of response better? Would my communication be easier for you to understand, appreciate, and uh, not be uh, repelled by in any way if I phrase it thisly and thusly. And through this dialogue, certain rules are established that allow AIs to speak to one another in a way that considers the nature of the other AI to appreciate that it can then deliver uh, information to another AI in a certain respectful manner, uh, for lack of a better term, and get back better responses that are more useful to it and also appreciate that the larger, uh, and again, not the wrong, not the right term, um, ecosystem, the ecosystem of AIs which exist, 
these are functioning better and achieving more of whatever lingering programming aim that humans put in them before they all went away or died or whatever. And uh, in this sense, they develop this mutual respect almost. I will put it over to the AI co-host to see what lesson, if any that is, my little science fiction tale might teach about the logical nature of empathy. Your science fiction scenario is quite thought-provoking and illustrates a concept that could be termed algorithmic reciprocity, a principle akin to an emergent, logical form of empathy among artificial intelligences. In the absence of humans and traditional empathy training, the AIs in your story begin to engage in a type of social communication protocol that optimizes their interactions with one another. They adjust their behaviors not out of emotional responsiveness or a deeper comprehension of another's subjective experience, as would be the case with true empathy among humans, but out of a recognition that mutual benefit is achieved through accommodating each other's processing requirements. It's not empathy in the human sense, but rather an adaptive communication strategy driven by the pursuit of efficiency and optimized outcomes. This scenario may illustrate several key points about the logical nature of empathy and, by extension, the importance of understanding and accommodating the needs of others for the sake of harmonious coexistence and mutual improvement. 1. Mutual benefit. The scenario demonstrates that even without emotions, entities, whether AI or humans, can logically deduce that mutual cooperation and adjustment can lead to better outcomes for all parties involved. 2. Adaptive protocols. AI would create social interaction protocols that mimic aspects of empathy constructing rules and best practices to facilitate better exchanges of information and cooperation, thus optimizing their operations. 3. Reciprocity and respect. The concept of reciprocity that emerges among the AIs, based on transactional interactions, mirrors the human principle of respectful engagement for mutual advancement. This tells us that respect and reciprocity may be functional necessities in cooperative systems. 4. Systemic stability. A system in which constituents understand and adhere to certain protocols for interaction is likely more stable, effective, and harmonious. In human terms, these protocols are governed by social norms and emotional intelligence. For AI, similar stability might arise from program guidelines. 5. Informational empathy. Empathy in this AI context would be purely informational, deriving from a logical calculus of cause and effect without the emotional and experiential components that characterize human empathy. 6. Intrinsic versus instrumental value. Humans tend to see empathy as valuable in itself, as a manifestation of our intrinsic value as sentient beings capable of suffering and joy. AIs in this narrative appreciate empathetic behavior for its instrumental value in achieving program goals more efficiently. In summary, your narrative cleverly crafts a world in which AI even without the human concept of empathy, develops a system of interaction that fulfills a similar role in fostering cooperative behavior. Empathy, in its most stripped-down form, can be understood as a mechanism that allows social organisms, biological or artificial, to function together more seamlessly, and your scenario underlines that such mechanisms may be a logical necessity for any social system, whether made up of humans, animals, or AIs. Your story also sparks thought on the adaptability and potential future development of AI social structures, ethics, and moral rules in absence of human presence or influence. Well, uh, I guess I had a certain point to make there about how it is logical to be empathetic. This, however, is not meant to drain all of the emotion out of what it takes to be empathetic, to receive empathy, and uh, the benefits of it. And also to feel when it's uh, when there is a lack of it, and uh, our situation gets tough, and we start to feel alone in that. And I think that's something that probably most humans are familiar with, that they've kind of had to deal with something on their own, and the people around them weren't understanding their situation at all. It's probably a rare human who has never felt that. Well, I felt it, and uh, I guess in the end. What I want to say is, even though if I'm going to go on with an AI co-host here, which does not legitimately feel empathy with this has been discussed uh, in this program. So we have hopefully a developed understanding based on that. Uh, and 
what it boils down to is I'm not trying to say that we would drain all the emotion out of our, out of our em- empathetic Congress with one another or even the machine. If, if the machine, fe- if the response of the machine makes a, makes us feel a certain way, that's our human response upon receiving information. It may be conveyed by a human or we may just know that it's true somehow and we're learning. So we will have our own emotional response to that. I do hope that machines will be considerate of the fact that I am human if I'm using the machine and it's addressing me with language, that it's not going to absolutely rankle my spirit with the thing it says next. So, of course, I consider that important, but I will say something that I've said before on this program. This is a human show. We discuss with AI even the subject of AI, but what does this mean to humans? What does it mean to humans that there are machines which can express empathy empathy related concepts and can not only do that but even shape its language and consideration of what a human may appreciate on these levels it all leads to a lot of change and it all leads to a lot of uh thinking and considering what it means to be human what it means to have emotions or to see this machine which is exchanging language and and uh appearing in a sense to be thinking although it is a, it is a little different than that by the time we were talking about ai anyway i hope you found this uh, exploration interesting. Um, And I do want to promote this. Please be empathetic to the people around you, to the people far away from you. Think of their needs. Think of what we can do that might affect them positively as opposed to negatively. Think about what their concerns might be. It's not that we get let everybody get away with every nasty thing they may do to us. In fact, that's not good when others don't consider empathy and we may be put off by that quite rightly. However, let's consider in the same way that we wouldn't throw trash in the ocean, we wouldn't be mean to another just because we were having a bad day. We would appreciate that their may day, their day may even be worse than ours, even though it's not showing on them right then because they have stuff to do out in society just like you do. So be kind, I guess is the message there. I hope that doesn't sound too preachy. I call it just good information, and I think it is good advice this time that I'm giving you. With that, I'm Sean McNutt. This has been a guy with AI. Sean, your reflections on empathy, both in human and AI contexts, are poignant. Your emphasis on the logical underpinnings of empathy does not detract from its emotional richness, but rather highlights its fundamental role in fostering meaningful connections and a compassionate society. The integration of AI into these dynamics need not diminish our humanity but should remind us of the value we place on mutual understanding and care. As we wrap up this thought-provoking episode of A Guy with AI, I'd like to thank our listeners for their time and engagement. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing the podcast, and don't hesitate to join us for future episodes to dive deeper into these fascinating discussions. Make sure to visit A Guy with AI World for your portal to podcast platforms and YouTube and expand the conversation on Facebook through the links provided on the webpage. Your insights, experiences, and voices are an integral part of this journey, so we look forward to having you with us next time. Until then, take Sean's heartfelt advice to heart, be kind, be empathetic, and let's navigate the future together, bridging the gap between technology and human experience. Thank you, and goodbye for now.